Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to check whether the matrix is an identity matrix or not in C. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular base we will write standard input output dot h. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular base we will write console input output dot h header file wide main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare int and two dimensional array of size 10 and 10 that is 10 rows and 10 columns. Now I am going to declare the indices that is i and j separated by comma and I will take row and column. Next I am going to take one more variable called flag is equal to 1. After this, I am going to write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen. I will ask the user to enter the order of matrix using printf function. So here I am going to write enter the order of matrix. So backward slash n and the double quotation mark put semicolon. Now we will receive input from the user through keyboard using scanf function. Here I am going to write percentage %d and percentage %d and the double quotation mark put comma ampersand of row ampersand of column. So here we have to check the condition. Whenever I say identity matrix the principal diagonal of the matrix must have element value 1 and all other elements must be 0. So such a matrix is called identity matrix. Okay. Yes. Let us continue with checking out the rows and columns. If the uh, matrix is a square matrix, then only it is possible for us to identify the matrix is identity matrix or not. Right. So that's the reason we have to check out in if condition. If row is equal to C, that is column. If the number of rows are equal to number of columns, then only it is possible for us to identify that it is identity matrix or not. Now we will use printf statement to enter the elements. We will ask the user to enter elements. If this condition is true, then only the control enters into the body of this if statement. Now I am going to write printf and in the double quotation mark, we will ask the user to enter the elements backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put a, a semicolon. Now we will use two for loop for i is equal to 0, i is less than rho and i plus plus. Once again one more for loop for j is equal to 0, j is less than column and j plus plus. Now we are going to use a scanf statement to receive the elements from the user through keyboard. So scanf and in a double quotation mark I will write percentage d put comma ampersand of a of i and j and put semicolon. So now after receiving the elements from the user through keyboard, I need to organize them in a order that is in the form of matrix that is number of rows and number of columns. So for that I am going to write printf and in a double quotation mark I am going to write entered matrix is backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon. Here I am going to use again the same for loop for i is equal to 0, i is less than r and i plus plus. Now I will use here curly open brace and the next for loop for j is equal to 0, j is less than column, next j plus plus. Next we will write printf statement and here I am going to print all the elements. So using format specifier percentage d in a double quotation mark in the double quotation mark put comma then we'll write ampersand of sorry here we'll write a of i j because ampersand will come only in a scanf statement next we'll put semicolon so after this i'm going to write one more statement that is printf in a double quotation mark i'll write backward slash n why because after the each row 
the control has to come down to the next line so that it must insert the element in the next row so that's the reason we have to write this printf statement and backward slash n in a double quotation mark and for this respective opening brace we have to put curly closing brace now we are going to go for the actual logic we have to identify whether the entered elements of the matrix forms identity matrix or not for that again we are going to use the same for loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than r i plus plus next we will write curly open brace next inner for loop j is equal to 0 j is less than column then j plus plus and closing brace curly open brace and now we are going to check the condition if a of i j is not equal to 1 and a of j i is not equal to 0 then the flag value that is variable value should be set to 0 and break statement means it brings the control comes out of the looping construct next for this for closing we have to write curly closing brace and for this outer opening brace we have to write one more closing brace now we are going to check if flag is equal to 1 then it has to print printf it is an identity matrix next end the double quotation mark and put semicolon if this flag is false that is if it is set to 0 if when the condition is true then we have to write else part here we will write printf statement it is not an identity matrix and the double quotation mark and put semicolon next we have got one more if statement which we have used at the top so let me show you here we have used so this one if r is equal to c curly open brace if this is false then what it should display for that we are going to write else part here we will write this is a closing for if part then after if we have to write else we will write printf statement and in a double quotation mark we will write it is not a square matrix to find uh, identity matrix so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon so here we will write get ch function and curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example so when we compile and run the program so it is going to ask the user to enter the order of matrix so this particular statement will be printed so here we will write enter the order of matrix will be printed yes so now i am going to enter 2 and 2 so 2 means 2 rows the next 2 means 2 columns here 2 rows and 2 columns row is equal to column that is 2 is equal to 2 yes condition is true once the condition is true the control enters into the body of this if statement and it it is going to execute all these statements so here it is going to ask the user to enter the elements enter the elements now i am going to enter elements such as 1 0 next i will enter 0 1 here you can see I have entered these elements through scanf statement by these two iterative statements for iterative statements. Now I have to write or arrange these elements in the form of matrix. So that's the reason we have written here printf entered matrices. So it is going to print entered matrix is backward slash n brings the cursor down to the next line through these two iterations so this particular statement will get iterated first 
and then the outer for loop will get executed so it is going to print a of i j value so here it is going to print 1 0 this 1 and 0 next 0 1 next is 0 and 1 here you can see the principal diagonal consisting of numbers 1 and 1 the other elements are set to 0 so now orally i can say this is an identity matrix but how exactly it is checked in this particular logic we are going to check out if i map this one in memory how exactly it will be mapped in a memory the first element index is 0 and the next one is 1 correct and here it is 0 and this is 1 now we will check out with values of i and j and we are going to check this condition how exactly it is applying to this particular matrix so for the first time for i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 here we are going to check the condition if a of 0 0 i j means what 0 0 so 0 0 means 0 0 consisting of 1 not equal to 1 means what it is equal to 1 so what it is returning it is returning false value next we are going to check using ampersand double ampersand logical and here a of j i what is the value of j 0 0 and i value is also 0 which is not equal to 0 it is true it is not equal to 0 1 is not equal to 0 hence it is true so false and true is false hence both of these two statements will not get executed again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 correct so first time j is equal to 0 0 is less than c is what c was 2 correct that is column so hence it was true now j value is incremented by 1 now it is 1 j is equal to 1 and i is as it is 0 a of 0 1 correct next is a of 0 1 j value is 1 now so a of 0 1 0 1 that consisting of what 0 which is not equal to 1 now it is true and a of j i a of j is what a of j is 1 and i value is what it is 0 so here this particular element is not equal to 0 it is returning false so true and false is what false again this particular statement flag is equal to 0 and break both of these two statements will not get executed again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value is 2 2 is less than column is what 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this inner for loop and goes to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is equal to 1 j is equal to 0 so now we will write a of 1 0 so it is going to point to this particular row so i is pointing to second row that is whose index number is 1 here you can see a of 1 0 a of 1 0 j is pointing to the first column so a of 1 0 consisting of 0 which is not equal to 1 yes it is true a of j i is not equal to 0 no it is 0 so here it is true and false is again false hence both of these two statements will not get executed again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is also 1 i is 1 j is also 1 it is pointing to the next column here a of 1 1 a of 1 1 consisting of what 1 a of 1 1 not equal to 1 but it is equal to 1 it is returning false value a of j i j is 1 i is 1 it is pointing to 1 which is not equal to 0 so here in this particular condition this is returning false hence both of these two statements will not get executed again control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is 2 rho is what 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the outer for loop condition fails then the control directly comes out of the looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement here we have flag is equal to 1 flag is equal to 1 means what here which is already set in a declaration as flag is equal to 1 hence it is going to return 1 it is going to print it is an identity matrix it is going to print here i'll write it is an identity 
matrix. If we have any other number other than zeros in both of these two places, then obviously we are going to execute the else part. It is not an identity matrix. One more run you can perform by entering different number of rows and different number of columns. In that situation, if this condition fails, then all of these statements will not get executed up to here else part will be executed so that is it is going to print it is not a square matrix to find identity matrix now let us execute this program and check out the various outputs for that i will take you to my laptop screen here i have already written this program in turbo c++ integrated development environment now we are going to compile this program by pressing alt f9 now you can see it is showing success means there is no syntax error. I'll press enter and now we are going to run this program by pressing control F9. Here you can see it is asking the user to enter the order of matrix. For example, I'm going to enter two rows and two columns. Now it is asking the user to enter the elements. Now I'm going to enter one, zero, zero, then one. And I'm going to press enter. Here you can see entered matrix is 1 0 0 1 and the principal diagonal elements are 1 1 it is an identity matrix it is printing now let us run this program one more time to check out for the other options now let us press ctrl f9 here i'm going to enter the same order once again 2 and 2 but the elements i'm going to enter will be little bit different for example i'm going to enter 1 Next, I'm going to enter 2, next 0, and then 1. So here you can see the entered matrix is 1, 2, 0, 1. Even though the principal diagonal consisting of elements 1 and 1, the other element is not 0. Here in the first row, second column, we have got the element number 2. Hence, it is printing, it is not an identity matrix. Now let us run one more time by pressing Ctrl F9 and this time we are going to enter different order of matrix. For example, I'll enter two rows and three columns. It must display. It is not a square matrix to so find identity matrix. Now I'm going to press enter. Here you can see it is showing it is not a square matrix to so find identity matrix. I hope you understood this program. If so, Please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.